Welcome to the third installment of the MHQS Combine and Design Series. I'm Joyce Lundrigan of Methodist Hill Quilt Studio. I'll be demonstrating this video using Creative Studio version 7.2. I just completed a special pattern set for a quilt where I use circular array to combine individual point-to-point -point patterns to create block patterns and new point-to-point -point patterns for the quilt. Circular Ray works by connecting the starts and ends of a pattern and placing the number of copies in the setup box in a clockwise manner. So selecting this pattern, clicking on Circular Ray, you'll see that I have eight copies in my setup and it has placed them in a circle connecting the starts and ends. For this quilt, I needed the patterns oriented in a different manner. I need the start and end on the outside so that the points place in. So I will cancel out of this. So to get the patterns oriented in the opposite direction, I'm going to flip it vertically. And now when I do the circular ray, then the pattern's starts and ends are placed clockwise on the outside instead of the inside of the pattern giving a totally different look. So clicking OK to close. This is the way I created the outside part of the pattern for the Lone Star in this quilt. And then I placed this pattern in the blades of the Lone Star itself. Another pattern that I needed for this quilt is this block here. So let me move this. And this is made up of this particular triangle pattern. I need the start and ends on the outside again. So I'm going to flip it vertically and then click on circular array. And just that quick, I've created a block pattern I can select right click and save to my project and database. I also needed only three copies and I needed it to be point to point. So by selecting five of these that I just created in this pattern and deleting them, I have three copies. You'll see the start is up here because this pattern was the first one that we placed when we did our circular array. So remember to look where the start is and do an order join. And now my start is on the left and is on the right. And I can save this to my database to use as a point to point pattern. Another pattern that I needed was this particular pattern and you'll see that it's made up of two different triangle patterns. Circular Array works with just one pattern. So how I went about this was to drag one of the patterns on and again the start and ends are on the outside so I'll flip it vertically, do my circular array and say OK. I need five patterns, so I'm going to select three that I don't need and delete. And every other pattern is the an opposite or alternate pattern, so I'll delete that one and this one. And now with snaps on, then select the alternate pattern, click on Draw Pattern. Place the first pattern, right click to close drawing, skip over to this one, place that, right click to close, and right click again to exit. Now you'll see the teal markers and that the start is up here, so remember to select the first pattern on the left and do an order join. And I have another point to point pattern that I can save to my database and project to use for this quilt. Just like that, I've been able to create these patterns so quickly using Circular Array. It's so easy to create lots of different patterns. This particular block I created using two triangle patterns. I used this pattern 
and I did a circular array and I needed just four copies and then to place the alternate pattern inside I select the alternate pattern click on draw and I'm going to click from right to left close and exit draw now because the start is on the right and the end is on the left on this pattern if I do a circular array it places the patterns in a clockwise manner connecting the starts and ends so that's not the look that we want so I will cancel this and I'll just reverse the start end on this now when I do my circular array it places the patterns on the inside say OK to close if I select the first pattern and do an order join you'll see that the whole pattern highlights so this pattern will stitch continuous if I change the angle and rotate it 45 degrees then it will save in this orientation and you can see it would be a really nice block to use in a square and a square block so another fun idea on how to create patterns 60 degree patterns if you have point to point 60 degree patterns can be very fun as well so using this triangle pattern I'm going to click on circular ray and I want six copies because this is a 60 degree and I say OK and again the pattern selected draw pattern click from right to left to place this right click to close and exit and once again I need to reverse the start end then do my circular ray and I have a really pretty star block another way to use this 60 degree is to drag it on and do a flip vertical do your circular ray and now we have a block that will fit in a hexagon if you wanted a point to point to place select this one order join so that your starts are on the left and on the right and now you have a half hexagon that you can use point to point isosceles triangles like I used to create the patterns for this quilt that I just did are also fun to do and selecting this pattern here I can do a circular ray eight copies say OK and again I can do draw pattern to get a reverse look on the inside select reverse start end do a circular array click OK and again if I select this pattern and do an order join the whole pattern highlights so this can also stitch continuous if I select it and rotate 22 and a half degrees you'll see that we have now a pattern that could fit in a star block another example of um, it using circular array are to use patterns that are designed to go in a corner of a, a block or point to point in a square so if I highlight this pattern and do a circular array and change it to just four copies I've created a really pretty block I could rotate this 45 degrees and save it as a square block so many ways to use circular array 
I used it also to set up this mock-up for the quilt and also for the medallion for this quilt so I could try out different patterns and then have a layout or a blueprint to go by when the quilt is quilted. So I hope this video has been helpful in giving you ideas of how to play with circular array. It's a great lap time activity where you can just sit and play and make patterns from others that you already have. Thanks for watching.